Aquarius hey Aquarius welcome back to my channel and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Aquarius if you're new to my channel I pray before each and every one of my readings so that way my energy is protected your energy is protected as well if you're returning thank you so much for returning I appreciate it and you trust me with your energy the first message we have is trying to find the right words wow so what I'm getting just immediately here is that your person is currently overthinking this communication that they want to have with you here. But if they were to be completely honest with you, if they were to allow their hearts to speak, they really, really miss your energy. It's something about your vibe, divine feminine, that is so comforting, okay? I'm getting that your person may be extremely nostalgic. They may be thinking about just moments they spent with you where the energy was extremely light. You shared laughter, okay? You exchanged stories. Um, something about your energy is extremely calming and non-judgmental where your person feels like they can really, really be themselves here. They really, really miss that. But I feel like at this stage, they may be overthinking how to approach you, okay? Something may have happened recently within your connection here where your person is really sifting through um, what it is that they want to say here. They could be writing you out messages. They could be erasing these messages. Something um, is going on with them emotionally where they feel like they have to be really, really on point with how they approach you, okay? They're definitely overthinking this communication right now, okay? So let's go ahead and pull a few more cards to see what's going on with them at this time. But I get like a really heavy, anxious energy. So there could be a lot of anxiety around just the communication period, okay? Divine Feminine, you can kind of be on edge here. Maybe you're expecting communication from your person. Maybe you feel something coming around the corner here. This energy is very, very expansive and it's extremely powerful. So I'm definitely feeling that there's a lot that needs to be expressed. There's a lot that's gone unsaid here. And there's just like this really deep need to connect um verbally okay that that your person is feeling at this time but they're definitely overthinking this process they're being very careful about their choice of words i'm getting even the timing um when to reach out to you what it is that they want to say to you and what manner it's like they're really really nitpicky about expressing themselves to you okay wow the next message we have is, why do you love me? Oh, wow. Okay, so this masculine is extremely vulnerable, okay? And they're trying to find the right words to say to you because I feel like this conversation that they want to have with you is going to change everything. The way that they're going to express themselves in this conversation will be in a way that you have never heard before or never felt before. As your masculine is going through this natural recalibration process where they're tapping more into their feminine energy, they're beginning to sift through a lot of heavy, heavy emotions that they have stuffed down for a very long time. And it seems like this masculine specifically is sifting through some type of emotions of unworthiness, of feeling unloved, of feeling, you know, not good enough, some type of heavy emotion around love, okay? And if their hearts could speak to you, they would want to ask you, why do you love them? How did you know that it was them? Why did you choose them, okay? These are questions that your masculine thinks about. They may not have the words to verbalize this. They may not know how to express this to you openly here, but something is happening where their heart chakra just may be cracking wide open. And all of those feelings that they had stuck down, that they tried the hardest, um, not to be seen, even though Divine Feminine, you have an energetic access to your person like no other. So I'm definitely feeling that you could have picked up on this energy and I feel like that may be why 
Um, you may not take things extremely personal around your person's emotional expression just because you can look right into their heart space and feel that there's something there. Um, something that doesn't have anything to do with this connection, something that's definitely external to this connection or something that definitely has to deal with their self-limiting beliefs here. But your person is coming through extremely vulnerable wanting to know why do you love them? Why did you choose them? Okay? Wow, something is definitely happening. If you were wondering what your person is currently going through, what is their emotional process, they're sifting through a lot of emotions and they're really at this place where they're using your connection as a measuring stick to other connections in their lives here and realizing that there really is no comparison, okay? Their level of openness, their level of vulnerability is extremely different here. It's almost as if they want to be affirmed by you, Divine Feminine, in a way that they never have before, okay? So as they tap into their feminine energies, it's a part of them that's kind of yearning you know, for you to affirm them in, in, in a kind of way, to let them know why it is that you love them, you know, because a lot of times they can only see their darkness. They can only see the things that they do wrong. Those things are normally highlighted in their lives. So when it comes to the good parts, the sacred parts of them, these are the parts that you have access to. And it's almost as if they're kind of, as they're going through this journey to becoming their higher self, you know, they need that affirmation, okay, from their divine counterpart to kind of keep them going. So this is really, really sacred energy. You may definitely feel your person pulling on you at this time because I feel a really, really deep um, yearning just for connection, just for expression, emotional expression, deep emotional expression at this time, okay? So wow, this is this is really powerful. I feel a really like emotional, um, not even like a sad kind of energy, but just like, it's almost as if your person's heart space is expanding and they just want to connect. It's like they found this newfound version of themselves and they kind of want to bring it to you. You know what I mean? This is beautiful. So let's get the next message here. Wow. We have, this is making me feel crazy. Yeah. So um, this Divine Masculine is feeling a little bit on edge emotionally, maybe because this is an aspect of themselves that they have yet to explore within this journey here. And it's making them feel a little bit crazy. They may be really, really emotional at this time. Their emotions could be going up and down. Depending on how energetically connected you are to your person, you may very well be tapped into um, these different range of emotions that they're feeling at this time. But they're coming through saying, yeah, this is making me feel a little bit crazy. I haven't expressed myself in this way before. Maybe this is something that they have never expressed in their lives, but Something is happening on the planet where there's a massive, massive recalibration that's happening. This year is very, very important for love and specifically for twin flame love. So as your person begins to navigate this journey, the steps that they take forward, they're realizing that there is no turning back, okay? They can only evolve and become higher versions of themselves. And this is making them feel a little bit crazy, okay? Them sifting through these, through these emotions, them wanting to kind of be affirmed by you, them tapping more to their feminine side here. Um, this is really, really pivotal, but your person is, you know, feeling a little bit rocky as they sift through these emotions here. This is foreign territory for them, okay? And that's maybe why they want to be affirmed by, by you at this time, Divine Feminine. Sorry, loves, my camera cut off for a second. But the next message we have here is, do you trust me? Yeah, so I'm picking up that if this is resonating with you so far, somewhere along your journey or just by way of the natural ebbs and flow of this journey, the trust between you and your masculine, you know, has been affected in some kind of way here. And as they're beginning to sift through all of these emotions, they're realizing that where you stand right now on your journey, you both have evolved a lot, a great deal, okay? But 
what they're looking at specifically because I'm getting a really, really emotional energy here where they're really tapping into their heart space. A lot of the things that they didn't want to address or they didn't have the tools to address, now they're beginning to sift through these things here. And what they're realizing is, is that you both have kind of created this barrier around your heart space as it pertains to one another, kind of in this protective energy against one another here, okay? And your person notices that. This may well have caused a dynamic shift in your connection here, but they're realizing that in order for you all to get to the next step, there has to be complete openness. And this begins with themselves here, okay? So I definitely feel that if, if they could ask you a question, this, this is what they wanna know. They wanna know, do you trust them? They wanna know, do you trust them as the leader in this connection here? to drive this connection forward, okay? So yeah, this is probably why the masculine is being extremely careful about what it is that they say, because I feel like this conversation, this meetup, whatever it is that, that they're, however they plan to express these emotions to you, this is gonna be an extremely pivotal point in your connection forward. This masculine is coming through extremely vulnerable, wanting to do whatever it takes to kind of move this connection forward, realizing that it can never go back to, to how it was, okay? Realizing that they can never go back to who they used to be as well. So this connection is only growing and progressing more as time goes on here. And your person wants to know, do you trust them to, to do what it is that they need to do to heal, to sift through their emotions, to become their greatest version for you and for themselves, okay? Let's get the next message here. Yeah. We have, I appreciate you. Yeah. So it's almost as if as this merging is happening, as this recalibration is happening, the divine masculine is tapping more into that feminine essence, okay? And really realizing just how much it takes to kind of hold space here. I definitely feel that your person has a deeper sense of appreciation for you and how you're able to navigate this connection, the different range of emotions that you feel, the intensity of it all, and really being raw in the way that you express how it is that you feel. They literally view this as a superpower of yours, Divine Feminine, and they have so much respect for you, okay? There's this element to you that literally keeps your masculine coming back to you, and that is your raw authenticity authenticity, your ability to know exactly who it is that you are, what it is that you want, and you being able to verbalize this, okay? This is where they're being strengthened at this time, for them to be able to match you in that way. Because when you're giving um, of yourself emotionally and it's not being reciprocated, that causes a massive imbalance within the connection here, and your person notices that. So now that they're being taken and they're sifting through this, all of these heavy emotions right now, they're looking at you in a deep state of appreciation um, just for how much you've shown up in this connection here, just for you holding space for them, regardless of where you may be on your personal journeys, okay? For some of you, you may not be in contact. You may be going through a separation, okay? Life may have you in two totally different places, but the way that you handle one another heart to heart, soul to soul, your person really, really appreciates you for that. You were the, you are the one person that was literally chosen to have a certain amount of access to them that no one else has and vice versa. So there's really a deep appreciation no matter where life may have you at this current state of your journeys here. As you look at one another, you're realizing that you're kind of in this together and your person is realizing that now. Okay, so this is massive. I definitely feel like there's a, something huge is, is on the horizon here. Okay, because this energy that I feel is very, very expansive. Um, I feel like there's just this raw authenticity coming through from this masculine energy, really wanting to be real, wanting to connect, wanting to grow this connection, um, wanting to really, really have intimate conversation, okay? to move this connection forward here. So this is beautiful. 
their emotions may very well be all over the place just because this is foreign territory um, for them, feeling all of this stuff, sifting through all of this stuff. But this is definitely dedication and commitment to this, realizing that they will no longer be able to go back to a lower version of themselves here. There's only ascension that's happening at this time, okay? Everything in the planet is literally aligning for this to happen the way that it's happening. Everything is unfolding in divine timing, okay? Let's get the next message here. Wow. The last message we have is praying we get to a better place. Yes. Um, this masculine, if you were wondering what it is that they're going through at this time right now, how they're viewing you, how they're viewing the connection right now, this masculine is really being extremely cautious about how they navigate. They're really considerate of what it is that you've been through, the journey that you've been through, okay, the healing that's taken place, how they approach you. They're kind of trying to find the right words. They're being extremely meticulous about how they navigate this connection. It's almost as if they it's been infused with a new type of energy now that this rebound, now that this balancing is happening within the connection here. But your person is praying that you get to a better place. They're realizing that this is going to take work, but they're they're ready to put this work in. They're actively doing this work, okay? So this is extremely beautiful energy. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on the way out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.